Hi, my name is Dr. Samir Puri, and uh, I'm here to introduce this 4.0 software. As you can see from this pre-release version, we've got a completely new interface where we select the restoration, the type of restoration, the milling unit, the material ahead of time. We've got a completely new interface where we select the type of restoration in the tooth ahead of time. And if you look at the image catalog that we have, we've got a new way of looking at our images. And we also can see that the images are much more clear. One of the nice things that we've enjoyed about the 4.0 software is the workflow. We've had the opportunity to use it in our office for the past few months, and I'm going to use this video to kind of give you a brief introduction on how the software works. Now, the first part that you're looking at is the image catalog, and as you can see, it's a completely new look. And one of the nice things about the image catalog is that you're not just limited to three different catalogs you have the ability to take more images as you need and as i mentioned the images do look much more clear than they did before so we take the preparation picture we take the opposing picture and actually there is no more preparation and opposing there's upper jaw and lower jaw images simply because we have the ability to go ahead and uh you know take and design restorations on opposing arches at the same time this is not something that the old software could do and so we take our upper jaw we take our lower jaw images we take our buckle bite images the concept is the same as what we did before except the process the visualization is a little bit different so here we have the buckle bite matching and again this is a pre-release software so you're not going to see you know the nice clean models that you will in the end but they do look much much better than they did before one of the nice features that we have is the ability to modify our models in the past we had the feature called correct optical impression well this 4.0 software takes it one step further we actually can add or subtract to our working model here you can see i'm using the form plus tool to add to the model so it's not just the preparation but also the adjacent teeth the opposing teeth you can raise a cusp you can lower a cusp the idea here here is that if you have a model that you're working on and there's some defects in the model you can simply adjust those defects ahead of doing any type of design work so we did the form plus now i'm doing the form minus we also have the ability to smooth our model so if there's any rough edges some ripples some uh, areas that aren't perfectly smooth we can go in just as we use the smooth tool on our restoration we can use the smooth tool on the actual model itself another nice feature that we have is that we can cut away parts of the model prior to doing the buckle bite so sometimes when you're doing the buckle bite what happens is that you know you image a part of a cheek or a, or a cotton roll as you can see right on the buckle of the prep there that gets in the way of our buckle bite so you simply now can cut that away before you have to do your buckle bite matching now obviously be careful in in what direction you cut here you can see we've cut away part of that premolar not that critical in this particular case but you will cut away uh, parts of the the model if you're not careful that you might need so that's a nice feature that we have in our new software margination is basically the same as what we used to do uh, we simply draw our margin. We can go to the manual margin mode. We can go to a black and white high resolution model. And what this allows us to do is give us a nice clean margin very quickly, very easily. And obviously, the better your preparation, the better those margins are going to be. But again, you can see how nice and clean those models are. Once we draw our margin, we define our insertion axis, we set the insertion axis, and then the software does its biogeneric process and gives us a proposal. The biogeneric process is not really different than what we used to have in the 3.85 software. It works just as well, if not better, than what we had before. I've personally found in the months of beta testing that the proposals are a bit more accurate, they're a little bit cleaner, they require less work. And this is an early version. Uh, we've been using the software for a number of months now in our office and while we are beta testing and while we expect to see some bugs and crashes in this in this pre-release software i've been pleasantly pleased with how accurate and how nice the proposals are the colors indicate um you know the our occlusion and and what you just saw there is a new feature called the tool bagel or the design wheel the design wheel has all of our different tools on it and one of them is the move tool 
And what we do now is we actually do the movements directly on the restoration itself. So we can actually move the restoration bodily without clicking on position. We can rotate that restoration in a clockwise manner, counterclockwise manner. We can tip it mesial distal. We can tip it buccal lingual. And all of this is done by simply moving the restoration itself. There is no more position button. There is no more scale button. Uh, all of the movements that we do, we do directly on the restoration. One of the other tools that we have is uh, a number of features that allow us to actually make uh, significant changes to the proposal itself. So we've got a new way to view the restorations. We can view the mesial, the distal, the buccal, the occlusal. Uh, to highlight the tool bagel, we can simply right click on the restoration itself and it brings up the tool bagel or you have a tool icon to the right side. Now the form 3D icon, uh, what it simply does, it allows us to move individual parts of the proposal. We can move uh, the cusps, we can move the contours, similar to the form tool, but it allows me to actually move any part of that restoration by simply grabbing the part of that restoration and moving it. A very standard CAD tool, and frankly, it's nice, but you know, with as accurate as the proposals have been, I haven't really found too much of a need for it, but it's nice to be able to simply grab any part of the tooth and move it. Uh, this is a feature that E4D users have had for a while and CIREC users have, have been asking. And you know, I think Serona has not only introduced it, but they've actually made it much better because we have the, the Form 3D and then we have the Auto Form. The Form 3D is what you're seeing here, which grabs individual portions of the restoration. Uh, the Auto Form uh, grabs actually big portions of the tooth and you can actually move entire cusps, the entire, entire occlusal surface, and any other part of the restoration that you need to. So the yellow indicator indicates what part of the restoration we're working on. Um, again, you can click on the tool wheel by clicking on the icon to the right side. These are the current tools. I'm sure by the time the software is released, we will uh, have new tools. We can bring up the opposing. Again, the models will get cleaner by the time uh, the general CIREC population gets the, the software. Right now, again, we're working on a pre-release version of the software. Once we get into the, the mill preview, we have some new features here as well. Uh, we can actually put the sprue on the restoration anywhere that we want to. We have the ability to rotate that restoration in the block. Not only that, we can rotate it mesial, distal, buccal, lingual. Uh, not such a big deal for posterior restoration, but you can imagine how for an anterior restoration, we really have the ability to fine tune our translucency in that particular block. Uh, you can, again, as I mentioned, you can put the sprue anywhere. You can move that restoration mesial distal, but you can also rotate that sprue. So you're not just limited to mesial distal buccal lingual. You can put it anywhere on the restoration that you want to. Not a huge deal, um, but, you know, I think uh, it, it, this definitely comes in handy every once in a while. So these are just some of the new features. Again, uh, we've had the privilege of working with the software for a number of months, really have enjoyed the interface. It's really easy to use. I'm really excited about the ability to do multiple restorations, restorations on opposing arches at the same time. All of the new features that you will see as the software goes through its development. In addition, the, the new platform allows the engineers to really do a very, uh, uh, significant amount of work in future versions as well. My name is Dr. Samir Puri. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the 4.0 software.